Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. This reading that I feel I felt so called to do, I feel is going to be really special. They usually are, but there's something about this today that feels really unique. As soon as I woke up this morning, I felt really called to do a what do we need to hear right now. And I already picked the pile that I feel like I need to hear the most. I have it clicked in my head, but I want to give you guys the time to allow yourself to gravitate toward the pile of cards that resonates with you the most. Now, I am working with Flower, the Flower Oracle deck, and the reason why is because I love flowers. For those of you guys who are part of my Bahati Vibe Tribe or follow me on Instagram and be, have been a part of my family, you guys know that I work with flower essences, I work with flowers and herbs and essential oils since day one. So that is why I'm working with these cards today. Now these, this reading is timeless, but I have to say that 2019 has kind of beat up on a lot of people and it has required so much of us. And that is why I want to work with the plants because Throughout any circumstances, plants have a way of cracking through or breaking through the, the hardest of circumstances and growing and thriving and flourishing. And I really have this feeling, this sense, that that is what we're gonna find within this card pool today. Keys to help us to flourish or the, the message that we need to hear right now to remind us of who we are and to help us to continue to flourish or begin to flourish, okay? So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I am going to give you some time to connect with your intuition, to ask your guides to help you or whoever it is that you want to um, ask to help you to find the card pile that will resonate with you the most. And then I will link the options down below in the comments and then we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, so for those of you guys that picked the sunflower, this is the card that says smile and it says simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. Okay, then we have four of swords and six of wands, which I love that combination. We have body, show me divine how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as is. You guys also have a second card that is direction um, and then we have from the Lennerman wow we have the mountain and we have the snake and then we have serendipity so this is so interesting to me and I will say this for a few reasons what is coming through immediately is water it reminds me of water it reminds me of how water doesn't fight against its energy it doesn't fight against gravity. It doesn't fight against the elements. It flows with the elements. And wow, you guys, wow. Okay, so when water gets under heat, if things get too hot, makes it uncomfortable. Let's say you get uncomfortable. Things get too hot. The pressure comes, um, starts to weigh on you. Just like water, that water doesn't fight the circumstances. It evolves with it. It trans transforms with it. Water then turns into steam. Let's say things get too dry, too barren, water will evaporate. Let's say the water is in the clouds, it's evaporated, now it's in the clouds, and over time it builds up, builds up. It gets too heavy and it starts to rain, it starts to release, and then that rain starts to like um, fall into the earth, it starts to nourish the, the plants. So, and then when that water gets too saturated, what happens? It starts to trickle and flow back to the river. It joins the river, it joins the ocean, and then eventually it starts to evaporate and the cycle goes on and on. And that's ultimately, wow, that's ultimately what I'm seeing for those that picked number one, is you have under, you have, or, or learning, or you are being reminded of the, of when you step into this ability to flow and not fight the circumstances, especially with Four of Swords, especially with Six of Wands, when you step into this, this ability to flow and not fight things or not look at it as a bad thing, allowing that circumstance to provide for you what it's going to do and you just kind of 
I don't want to say accepting it and you know being a victim of it or anything it's just you just it is what it is you allow yourself to transform despite whatever the climate is no matter no matter what the circumstances are and that is what actually is helping you to find direction even as I'm looking at this card now there's rain that is coming down that's pouring down from the top all over these flowers right whenever I see the body card this card for me has connected to being in this card too has raindrops wow this card to me has always connected to the present, the mind, the body, the soul, the spirit. Now, this is not jumping ahead, looking too far into the past. It's about being in the present now. The only thing that is real when it comes to timing is this moment that we are sharing together right now. And with the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands, Four of Swords is about rest. But it's also the word that's been coming through is recovery. Now, for those of you guys that are part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you've probably heard me talk about just recently um, how I'm moving away from the word healing and moving more into the using the word recovery for a multitude of re reasons. I'm not going to dive into that right now, but I'm seeing how this rest phase, meaning like you just being in the present moment, you not racing ahead, not you going far behind, far behind. It's like you are whatever stage you are in this cycle in your life, you are literally resting into it. And because of that, you are transformed because of that. The cycle completes it's it literally it reminds me of this is going to sound really crazy, but I feel this strong sense from your guides from the divine right now to speak and say, we don't want you to focus on the success or you even being empowered by things just as much as we don't want you to focus on the failure or the things that aren't working or the things that you don't understand. We just want you to be because if you're focusing too much on the success, it's almost like you've, I don't want to say that you've glorified it or that it goes to your ego or boosts your confidence. If you focus too much on the failure or what isn't happening or the struggle, then it's like you're focusing on that. We don't want you to focus on either of those. We want you to be present now. Maybe that's why the smile card here is here because it's literally like just enjoy this moment. Just don't think about how much you've accomplished because you have accomplished a lot, especially with the Six of Wands card here. It, it's like don't think about, you know, how much you have done, how much you have achieved, how good of a person you are, even though those things are so important. Don't think about where you've come, how far the journey has been for you, the fails, the disappointments, the heartache. Don't think about that even though that is important because that's a part of your journey. We just want you to smile in the present moment and allow yourself to receive. Notice your body. I think this is why this card is here. Notice your body. How does your body feel as a sun is, is um, you know, warming it? How does the wind feel when it blows across your skin? Does it make you feel cold? Does it make you feel warm? What do you smell right now? What do you taste? What are you feeling right now? For me, I feel my meditation pillow. I feel the plants tickling my, my knee. I feel the wood from the bottom of my table. I feel the cards in my hands. I feel this, um, my head wrap on my head. I feel warmth in my heart. These are things that I can feel right now. I can smell my candles. I can smell last night's incense burning. I can hear some of the cars passing. I can hear my voice echoing. So these are things that's like focus on the present now. Don't go too far into the future. I know that that's kind of controversial because um, in today's time, it's like, okay, well, think about positive things. Think about all that you can achieve, set intention. But spirit is really telling me right now to, for you to actually just smile and be in the present moment. It's not that I'm not hearing spirit say smile. This card says smile, but I'm really getting the sense of, you know, how does everything feel with you now be in the present moment and something also about that is going to legit create the serendipity. This is what is going to create that miraculous how did we cross paths? You know what I mean? Like you weren't thinking about when I see this mountain card, right? I see not only the obstacles that you have come from and the journey, the good and the bad, the hardship, but I also see like how you look at this mountain, this obstacle or like this success or what you've done. You see it as this heavy magnitude of a something. 
you think like let's say you're trying to think you're thinking about work and you might have achieved a lot of success when it comes to work but also that your success required a lot of you so did your failures and the universe or the divine and your guides is literally saying to me to tell you that we don't see it separate we don't see the failure and the success as separate things we see it as the a burden actually on you right now you may in your brain say to yourself oh it's so amazing that i was able to achieve the success it's so amazing that i was able to do this thing or maybe you're looking towards the future and you're like this thing is going to manifest this thing is going to happen and even that excitement is applying stress to the body even though you're excited for it spirit says listen we just want you to rest as this cycle is coming to a completion as you are evolving as things are transforming as water is falling down to the earth as rain as the water flows to the ocean as the ocean evaporates up into the sky as water turns into steam you know as it formulates into water droplets and condensation allow yourself to don't think about where you're headed just be in the present moment because divine is saying like it's not that it's the excitement of what's to happen. If you guys see me rubbing my nose, it's because when I get like my spirit guides start, you know, talking, they start tickling my nose and my nose starts to vibrate. Anyways, um, it's very easy for you to be drawn to that and say, oh, this success is on the horizon. Oh, this is where I'm going. Oh, 2020 or 2021 or oh, this is going to be amazing or oh my God, look at where I've come from. Look at how I'm feeling. Both of those things. I know this is so mind bogging, like mind boggling and mind blowing but both of those things the success and the failure are weighed the same and when it comes to intensity when it comes to energy when it comes to heavy and spirit is saying listen you just being right now in this moment and just being present is literally what is going to like make this miracle happen gonna make this blessing happen we don't even want to focus you we don't even want you to focus on where it is that you're going it almost feels as though like it's like you're going to be surprised it really feels as though that's it. I, I confirmation. I just got that feeling. I feel like it's your. It's good that you're focusing on the positive. It's good that you're releasing the past. But there's this element here of surprise where you will be surprised how you are going to transform. You will be surprised where you will flow. You will be surprised what cloud you end up in. You'll be surprised what river you rain down into. Like, it's really like you are going to be so surprised. That's why we just want you to just smile and enjoy this present moment right now and keep right. This is why there's direction. That is why the card of direction is here because you're going to be so surprised where your direction is headed. And it's not, maybe that's why um, God is, or the divine is saying, don't focus on where you're headed or where you're going because we are literally going to surprise you. And the blessing in this, the beauty in this is that you don't even have to do anything. You literally get to relax. You actually relaxing, resting, and allowing yourself to transform, you know, under, under all, of, whatever this is, whatever is around you now is going to create the biggest success it's going to be serendipitous you're going to be like wow that was my luck it is and it isn't you know what i mean i'm so excited for my number ones for those of you guys that picked the sunflower card that is a beautiful message that was a beautiful message now let me read to you what this card says it says simply smile simply means do nothing more do nothing less just simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference it makes. And when I see difference, I again am brought back to the word direction. I feel like the difference is, is that your di direction is gonna reroute. And this has, n it's not, this is not a bad thing. This is a, a beautiful blessing, a beautiful surprise. And it's there exclusively for your happiness. It's almost as if, if like you're on a road trip and you are going to this destination that's gonna be so great, but along the way you pass by a water source or a waterfall or something and you're like maybe we should go check this out and you go and it's so something about that waterfall space is so restorative and so healing to your energy or you meet someone or you receive a message or you're just so changed by this redirection this reroute and you can definitely go back on the road or the journey but maybe that reroute 
like that that turning off just to take a break from being on the road even though you could get to this amazing destination like your destination where you had it in your mind was amazing like it is it's so dope but it like by simply rerouting by just going off you know turning on that exit and visiting that waterfall something about that is so serendipitous and you could cross paths with the most amazing thing that's what i'm seeing for number one that's why it's like you know what just smile literally smile and find the things allow yourself to flow and go with the thing that you know you just feel so called to do it like really honor that i'm excited for number i, I wish i picked that one <laughs> there's a reason why i did it though but that's what i'm seeing for those that pick sunflower and group number one okay so let's talk about those that picked the orchid you have reached for the stars the orchid you deserve only the best and this is all you should focus your intention on attention and intention then we have oh wow treasure island this is a little sea turtle that's bringing in abundance and blessings to you easy and effortless okay we have the labyrinth and we have the whip there's a lot of messages that came through just now as i pick this up let me just go ahead and talk about this currently right now before i move into the the other cards sorry about that guys i had a call come in and i thought i muted my phone but back to what it was that i was saying i really want to focus on these cards right now i really do because there's something about them that i need to stop and talk to you about these first the labyrinth card is about navigating and finding your way through the world through your life through a relationship through your career through your direction and the whip card is about personal punishment and I feel the word that just came through is guilt. Um, there's an A word that is coming through and it feels accomplishment. But the word accomplishment feels like an actual punishment. It's like what you haven't accomplished, what you haven't achieved, what you haven't gained yet, what doesn't make sense to you right now, what isn't working. I feel like with the Labyrinth card, it's like you're trying to find your way through this maze and you just keep going into the same area like you no matter how much you try to kind of move away or navigate through life or through this thing you just keep getting rerouted not, not rerouted but you keep choosing the same path this is something that you're doing in your mind it's like when left to your own devices you can't it's like you feel like you fail at finding your way out and then you start punishing yourself like why the fuck am i here again how did this happen again? Why is it that I've been praying, I've been setting intention, I've been manifesting, I've been trying to manifest, and every time a door opens, I keep choosing the wrong door and I end up right back into this corner. I know that this maze is, there's a way out. I know that there's a way out. I know that there's, I see other people, you know, finding their way through the maze. They pick the right doors. They pick the right angles. Some of them breeze right through it. Others get it wrong two or three times and then they hit it and I just can't. Like, I can't do it. And it's like, I want to accomplish this. I want to achieve it. I want to master this. This is the one thing that is so important to me right now. And I just keep ending up in this corner and it's like far left corner, far left corner. How do I get my way out? And I have a map. You know, it's like sometimes there's, you know, certain resources that I could help and it doesn't matter. I get it twisted up. I get it messed up. Why? And that sense of punishing yourself because you can't find it. There's also this sense of comparison. You seeing how others have made their way and you cannot, you just can't, you just can't. Even with this, oh my God, it, yeah. So reach for the stars, the orchid card. Oh my God. I have an orchid around, well, they're over there. Um, but the orchid has been really significant for me in my journey, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But the orchid card, it says, reach for the stars. You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. Literally, you know that. <laughs> and even hearing that, it's like, oh, I deserve the best. I know that. You don't see me trying. You don't see me trying to navigate. This is what I have been focusing on. I have been asking for the best, but it, again, it brings me right back to what it was I was saying, which is when left to my own devices, I can't figure it out. 
I feel like a failure. I feel like I can't accomplish it. I feel like it's not successful. I'm so sorry, group two. Like, you legit keep getting these interruptions, but maybe that's a mess. That's a message all by itself. But with this card, it's when I see reach for the stars and the orchid, you deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. Legit, it almost feels like that's a big affirmation, realizing that you do deserve more and that you want more for yourself. But at the same time, that is, at the same time as I'm saying it, I feel like that's the source of your greatest frustration right now, is the fact that you realize that you do deserve more for yourself, that you want more for yourself. But it brings me right back to what it was that I was saying that it's like if left, when left to my own devices, I keep choosing the wrong curve. I keep making the same decision. I keep finding myself here. I keep finding myself at this outcome. And there's an emphasis that says, and this is no judgment, and this is a no judgment zone, but there's this emphasis on the, the divine right now and my guides calling for me to say like, this is something that you're doing. And that's not to judge you, that's not to punish you. You are literally punishing yourself. But it's like, we want to acknowledge the fact that these are the, the decisions that you make. There is a way out through this maze, there is a solution. Yes, there are people who are finding finding out. Like there are people who are figuring this way out. It's so funny because reach for the stars, the orchid card actually feels like the most frustrating thing. It's like, you, I have been reaching. I have been striving. I have been trying. I have, I have realized and I keep telling myself that I do deserve the best. And that is all I've been focusing on. And yet still, it reminds me of what it was said. What I said in the beginning of this reading for you guys is, it's like whatever, you know. When I decide, I keep choosing. Whatever. I already said what I said. And then we have the the turtle here, Treasure Island. This card is about you actually not trying and striving as hard or as much as you have, and something about that brings that to you. Then we have, yes, yes, okay. <laughs> then we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords reversed. We have the Empress card. Then we have the, the Page of Wands. First, first things first, Knight of Pentacles is one of the slowest cards, right? Three of, uh, Page of Wands is very fast, but the Page of Wands was reversed for you. And the Empress is about you sitting back and receiving and also you knowing your worth and knowing your value. The word that just came through to me, it, it's, um, it's like a phoenix. It's resurrection, it's rebirth. It's, this is crazy to me. This, it's, it almost reminds me of group, the pile number one, but it's about rebirth. It's about coming out of the flames. And you literally, you have, it's like the flames are actually the heartache. Even as I'm looking at this, her base level is her passion, her love, her desire, her ambition, which is the same thing that might actually be hurting her. Maybe she loves really strongly. Maybe she's really ambitious to the point where it's detrimental to her well-being. And it's like that, you know, those swords that are coming through that are creating, creating that pain, that hurt, that suffering. But I'm also seeing these two eyes and I feel as though this is you not doing anything more right now i'm actually seeing and i feel like the pile number two orchid is going to be kind of frustrated with me with this but it's actually it reminds me a lot of group number one with the sunflower but it's like spirit sees you or someone else sees you and it's going to come in and save you and for some of you guys that is actually why it's so frustrating is because you it's not that you don't want to be saved but you feel like well i why I can do it. Why can't I do it? You're not meant to do it. That is actually the rebirthing here. That is the restructure here is that you, there comes a time and a place where everyone needs to get saved. There, times, there comes a time and a place where everyone needs to get rescued. There comes a time and a place where someone has to pull you up and put the spoon in your mouth instead of you feeding everyone else. There comes a time and a place where someone has to prioritize you and be there for you 
more, then you're always there for them. And that's what I'm seeing here is actually your desire, your ambition, your strive for more, your love, your heart is, is what has been fueling you and you know, breathing life into certain things. But what I and what the, the divine is calling you to do, this is so mind blowing to me, is that you take those same things, your drive, your ambition, your love, you have to give it to yourself and you have to wait for reinforcements to come in. And I don't say pull you out, but carry you out. And some of you guys, are that's going to be the biggest obstacle for you is the fact that you want to do it. I think that's why I had to keep saying in the, in the start of this journey, when left to my own devices, I choose. Like, it's like you want to do this all on your own. You want to do this with your tools. You want to manifest it all by yourself. You want to be the one on top. So you have it in your mind that you are going to be the one to find your way out. When in reality, at this point in your journey, it's not that you can't do it. It's that you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't be doing it because you, you've come this far and maybe you won't be able to find your way out. Let someone else help you guide you out of this maze because when left to your own devices, you are going to choose the same option again and again. This is not failure. It's actually the greatest success and that's gonna blow your mind is the fact that you know your success and your growth, your evolution, your rebirth is actually gonna come from people coming in and, and, and helping you out and guiding you out. And that is not any less than you doing it by yourself. I feel like you're going to look, this is like someone who has like elite, a learning disorder um, or dyslexia and they are highly intelligent, highly intelligent, but they have a weakness when it comes to reading, you know? And so if they, if, if, if all of their graduation from college or their, yeah, their graduation away from college was them reading out loud in front of a huge auditorium and that determined if you move forward then it's like, well, how can you really, how can you really shine in that? Because that is your greatest weakness and you don't have the resources. Not that you're not brilliant, not that you're not creative and intelligent, but that's just like not what you were wired to do. So you, your entire graduation and your ability to move forward is all falling on your ability to pass this test that doesn't even like represent all of the, the magnitude that you are and it all falls on this one thing, that's what it is that I'm seeing here, is that it's not that you are you don't have the passion, the, the drive, the amb ambition, the love. What it takes, it's just that we all have strengths and weaknesses, and sometimes, it's not that we're giving you a pass, it's just we need to carry you through this. It almost reminds me of Harry Potter, like when he was going for the Goblet of Fire, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm, t I'm bringing Harry Potter into this, but there, I don't know if there was a moment where he got knocked out or something and his friends had to carry him or his friends had to save him. It's, if he was to wait there for them, for him to come to his consciousness or for him to be strong again, it wouldn't be a success. He wouldn't be able to complete his journey. He wouldn't be able to get to the finish line. He wouldn't be able to save, you know, the world. Like he wouldn't be able to save the wizarding world. So it's like you need to actually, you have been reaching for the stars. There's, it's like, it's so obvious, but you need to stop punishing yourself. It's not healthy. Hold on, let me read this. Wow, okay, it says, allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments I have. May I always know it's doing the best that it can. Help me be a loving ally and friend to the sacred form. That's what I'm saying, you guys. You guys have been punishing yourself. You have been like beating yourself up for, and it's not just your physical, your physical body. It could be your mental health. It could be your heart's health. Oh my God, I feel it. I feel it like in my sacral chakra. I feel it in my heart. Like you've been crying, like, oh my God. Like you've been really frustrated. You've been really down and out. You've been, it's like the same person who is the strongest is at this area of their life, they're the weakest. And they're like, I can't ask for help because people know me to be strong. I know myself to be strong, so it's gonna be a failure if I ask for help. Literally, sometimes you have to ask for help. That's what the divine wants you. It's not that you're not, you are reaching for the stars, but it's not good. You have to literally, like, there comes a point in your life where the treasure, with the sea turtle here, the, the treasure has to be brought to you, or you have to be brought to the treasure, and you fucking deserve it. Like you deserve it and you're not any less, your reward, your accomplishment, your success 
you getting you reach, reaching your destination is not any less because you had help because you asked for help it says allow me literally empress energy allow me to be tender and accepting of this no matter what ailments i have no matter what the obstacles are no matter what is working against me no matter how defeated i am oh god may i always know it's doing the best that it can your body may i always know that i'm doing the best that i can and help me be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form it's it's i'm like i'm i'm truly saying this that it's like the spirit spirit guides are watching this person you feeling so frustrated and so sad and so defeated and so broken and like crumpled up maybe and you're like i'm strong i'm resistant i can do this i'm resilient you're not gonna defeat me you're not gonna get me down and it's like, you know what, just sit there and, and, and just, you know, allow someone to come through. Like, we're not saying that you're not strong. We just need to come in and get you out of here. So maybe you need to ask, like, I, it almost reminds me of someone who is going to start going to counseling or therapy. Maybe it's someone who is, you know, letting love find them. Or maybe it's someone who needs help from their family or needs to talk to their family or to their friends. It's really, whatever it is where someone comes in, I don't say bails you out, but comes, comes and gets you out because, you know, it's not that you can't do it on your own, it's just when left to your own devices, you, you maybe you wouldn't be able to. You know what I mean? And that's not a bad thing. I've learned that a lot. That's the Empress energy is that that is Empress energy. That's where you guys are at actually is Empress is I don't I don't I should not be doing everything. I'm an Empress. I'm the queen. I represent fertility, abundance, blessing. This is like a maybe like a mom who just got pregnant, especially with the Empress energy and her body needs to rest. So she needs her partner. She needs her family. She needs her friends to go do the grocery shopping to make the bed to clean, you know, to, you know, take on more of the work responsibilities at work. It's not that you can't do it. You just are creating life. So you need to rest. And it's that same drive, power, ambition, you reaching for, oh, I'm going to be all these things that is actually creating suffering for you. And spirit literally is watching you suffer and says, go in, go get her. She needs help. She's gonna fight us off when she's, but this is spirit saying, literally, it's reach for the stars, yes, but it's not even reaching for the stars, it's reaching for the help that's coming in. And says, so just focus on that and allow yourself to be carried. That is the biggest blessing that's coming into your life right now. So that's the message that I see for number two. You guys, I know I just got started with these readings, but that makes me, this one really impacted me the most and felt, I felt it in my sacral chakra and in my heart where I just wanted to like cry for you and with you, but just know that your journey is blessed and that something is coming in on the horizon to help you right now. And the biggest message right now is for you to receive it. Okay, so just trust that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about group number three, which is magnify your intentions, baby's breath. It says, choose a specific, <laughs> choose a specific goal to work toward. Your energy is spread out among too many ideas Please bring, oh, emphasis, spirit is like, please, <laughs> please bring your focus back to the key intention and let your angels help. Please, please. I'm actually getting like, can you not? It's like you're too powerful for your own good. Sounds like a good thing, but all right, let's see what other cards you have. <laughs> oh, truth, Oh. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. That reminds me again of what it was I was saying. It's like you get shown when to do and when to not do. You're being called. There's a lot coming up, come through here. Your words come from silence, not from fear. You do the talking divine. Take me over and speak through me. That's spirit. Spirit is trying to get through to you. Can't do it because you're bog boggled down. Bog lots of things going on here. Oh my gosh, I'm not surprised. Goodbye. Okay, seven of wands, too much. The devil, commitments, big.
things that are wearing you down. You are not giving up. You are too good for your, you're too strong. The Hermit card. Yeah, the Hermit card is literally go into that quiet space, go into the darkness and connect with the divine, connect with the inner self and speak to yourself the truth. What have I taken too much on? I need to, that's the question you'd ask yourself. I didn't even look at the rest of your cards. I will. But that's the question you need to ask yourself right now is what is it that I need to focus on right now? What is divine say? What, when you sit with the divine, when you sit with yourself, your higher self, and you ask yourself, what is the priority? What, do, what needs my attention right now? I need the, the truth of it. Maybe the truth is, is that I cannot take on everything. Literally, the devil card is all of this weight of all of the things that is that you're taking on and you just being a slave to it. Hold on, let's see what else we have here. Okay, there's a man and a choice. This card is, again, choices, decisions. Someone needs to make a choice, a decision. Oh, wow. Fate. There's a lot. Sorry, fates. Magnify your intentions. Choose. Wow. A specific goal to work towards. Your energy is spread out among too many ideas. This, this card is literally the, and it's faded. So there's a choice that you need to make. My number threes. I want to shuffle more for you because this is like sparking me right now. But there's what I'm seeing and what I'm getting is there is a lot of options, <laughs> a lot of projects, a lot of partnership potentials, a lot of places to go, things to do, people to see, and you are being called right now to actually connect with the hermit card and as i'm saying that you have the life oh my gosh you have the life card you have this the ankh is about creation like it's about masculine energy it's about feminine energy and something being created masculine is your ability to do Feminine is your ability to receive and when those two things come together life is born and this is on the hermit card the card of Going within being quiet Connecting with the divine connecting with your higher self and asking for the truth clarity to see what is the best Option for you when I say the best I feel really called right now to say it's not a logical answer It's not even an emotional answer. It's what your intuition What spirit is telling you you need to do there's something about this that says um, That your emotions and your logic like your emotional self your okay. This is gonna make me happy This logically makes sense. It's neither of those you literally have to choose what is guide, what is fated for you. You have to choose what the divine would choose for you, what your higher self would choose for you, despite how it makes you feel, despite how logically it may or may not make sense, or how could this happen? Like you may not have the tools, the resources, or you may not be in the right space in your mind right now. So it doesn't logically or practically make sense for you to choose that option because it seems so impossible. It may not be the thing that makes you the happiest. If you had your if if you had your way, you would have chosen a different thing. But when you went to your meditation, when you asked yourself the internal question, when you asked the divine to reveal to you what you need to choose, literally, as I'm looking at this, she has all of these stars that are in front of her. I don't know if you could see that. But she has all of these stars, all of these different options, all these different opportunities, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna choose this one. This is the star. This is what deserves my attention right now. This is the truth. This is what I need to choose. For some of you guys, um, this could really have to do with your relationship with a man. But I'm also seeing, when and with the Lennerman card, it's not about. Um, with the Lennerman, with the Lennerman cards, you should not, you shouldn't be working with um, messages like seeing the symbols in it. It's very surface level. So the man card represents man, but. I'm seeing this as masculine energy. 
So it's what you choose to put your masculine energy into, meaning like what you choose to do, what you choose to work towards, what you choose to achieve. And before you make that decision, oh my God, look, look you guys. This is seven of wands, right? Seven of wands. Do you guys notice something? We have all of these sh sharks here. No, they're not sharks. They're crocodiles or whatever, alligators. And then we have the alligator, which represents the devil card on top of the person. So you have to, you have to make this alligator here become underneath you. And even still, you have to choose. You have to like decide. Even then, there's two different options here. There's two different devils, two different commitments. There's two things here underneath. There's so much synchronicity here. Two different pathways. So right now, what I'm actually seeing is for you, my loves, for those with who picked baby's breath, it's you, it reminds me of what it was I was saying before, which is you're really freaking powerful. Like you are really powerful. At this point in your journey, you have to before you make any steps forward, go within and ask that not even like, you don't want to ask what, how does this make me feel like, or what is practical? You have to ask for what is fated for you? What is destined for you? I'm actually seeing the word is, I got like, um, the word is untamed. It's like you actually are being freed from, I don't know why untamed, maybe because these beasts, beasts, you have the alligator and the, de the alligator represents the devil. But the devil card is like, I don't see this as a negative thing so much. Interesting that that just came through. I don't see it as a negative thing, a bad thing. I see it as this beast that's within you that needs to be cut free, that needs to be released, that needs to be wild, untamed, reckless, messy. It can actually scare you. It can actually make you be like, oh, that's, that's, I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, you are. It's like spirit, the divine is saying there is a wild journey for you. There is a wild love. There is a wild project. There is a wild um, unbridled passion that it is that you're gonna connect with. You need to let your hair down. You need to stop trying to be perfect. You need to stop being poised. You need to stop doing what everyone else is doing. Cut yourself free from that and express yourself. Get messy, get creative, go on that trip. These are things that, again, it's like, oh, I wouldn't have chose to do that because what makes me happy is my world being neat and meticulous and put together and all of it, it's like, no. It like literally comes in and scrambles it all up and says, that's not what we have for you. It's not practical. It's not what makes you happy. It's what sets you free. That's what I'm seeing. And that messiness, that imperfection, that wild release of whatever is what needs to be magnified. What is getting, I don't want to say blown up, but put to your attention it said that's when it's gonna be, it's gonna be as wild and crazy as it is, that's gonna be this, the abundance that comes from it, the experiences that come from it, the love that comes from it. You're gonna feel almost consumed by it, not in a bad way, but you're gonna get like, I don't wanna say eaten up. It's like if you choose a partner, like if it's love that comes to you, you, you would normally pick a very poised, put together, meticulous, conservative individual. And then it's like you have this wild man that, <laughs> that comes into your life and he is just flies here flies there does this like does not hold himself back or herself back she he or she is a wild child maybe lives in a bus or a van or something I, this is how wild it is and you're like oh but i'm from corporate america i'm an accountant and i could never and it's like you know what that same person is going to take you this opportunity, this thing coming into your life. It's like, we're gonna cut you free from these, this, this way that you have viewed your life to be and how you view yourself to be. And you are gonna be freed from it. Now, that being said, it brings me back to the hermit card, which is when you go into the darkness, when you ask yourself, and the darkness means you go into your meditation. You ask yourself, you know, who am I really? 
who, how I've known myself to be. Maybe this is what my family taught me. Maybe this is what society taught me, my neighborhood. Maybe I was rewarded when I was this way. So I know myself to be this way. I'm actually seeing that it's fate that is showing you that this wildness, this person who sings and dances and drums and goes on these trips, this, you know, roller coaster riding fiend or maybe book reading individual like who knows it's a departure from your normal and it's fated for you to discover this new fresh who is she who is he we don't know that person like i know that's what's so exciting you have one life to live one life to live and there are so many different things to experience Lore to experience it, it almost seems like the, the flame that you shouldn't touch the one thing that you shouldn't be doing is the same thing that spirit the divine is like that's the one thing that you should be doing that's why it brings me back to what it was I was saying that it's not about what emotionally feels right for you or what practically makes sense it's like it's like there's a resounding truth a resounding truth that you hear that speaks to you and says, you know, you might feel scared by this. You might feel, it's so, okay, so what I just heard was, you might feel scared, AKA, you might feel awakened by this. It's almost like the judgment card. It's almost like, no, it's, it's actually the hermit card because the hermit card reveals to you the truth of who you are when you're in the silence and you're like, you know what, maybe this is a learned behavior. Maybe my identity was taught to me so now I'm actually being awakened. I'm not actually scared. I'm being awakened. And maybe I am a little nervous. Maybe I am a little scared. But I'm going to do it. So when you focus on that, it gets magnified. It gets, you set your, your intentions change. You start, you know, getting reckless. You, your faith, get, not reckless in a bad way, but it's like reckless faith, reckless love. Like I should not allow myself to be so vulnerable with this person. I should not allow myself to take this risk to go on that trip. But I feel so called to do it. And there is a journey there for me. I'm gonna learn so much about myself. And I feel like your angels and your guides are the ones that are gonna be speaking to you, like chattering in your ear. Go on that trip, do that thing, write that book it's not it's not meant to be perfect it's just it's meant to be yours it's meant to be your experience that's what i see for those that chose baby's breath <laughs> you guys are probably like oh baby's breath is so calm yeah right baby's breath just came in and ruffled your feathers and your sheets oh she said it okay so now we're moving on to those that chose open your arms to receiving eucalyptus You've prayed for help, now be open to accepting it. So this we have eight of pentacles. This is the work. This is the prayers put in, the intention set, the work that you've been doing, the actions you've been taking, the thoughts you've been thinking, the words you've been speaking, the people that you've been connecting with. This is a lot of things that you have done and each one of those things has been significant. It all played, played into this thing. What is this thing? Nine of Cups, the manifestation of all of these things coming together for your highest and greatest good, manifesting themselves. Boom, bing, bang, boom. Aging. Now, when I see this card, aging, I have actually seen this as you are ready. The time is now. It is in this moment. Be open to receiving this. I don't see this as, oh, I'm too old. Oh, I'm too young. It's like, you're ready. Oh my gosh. See, you have the fish card, you have the bouquet, you have the storks. These cards all together come in and say, this is the cycle. When you do this, 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 or when this, 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 this happens, this is when the blessing comes in. And it comes in a lot, a lot of blessing, a lot of, a, a lot of abundance. This reminds me of the seasons. It reminds me of a season, a cycle in your life where it's like tick, 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 ding. Boom, this drops out. Okay, tick, 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 ding. Boom, this comes in. It's like when certain things happen, they don't come out of alignment. They don't come out of, you know, chaos. 
unless it is the moment, the time of your life where chaos needs to happen in order for something to happen because that's the cycle. But it doesn't go out of order. It all goes in order of how it should be. And when it comes in, it comes in a lot. It comes in as an abundance. It comes in as a blessing. So I'm definitely seeing that. Round and round. See, I, I'm already done. You have received your reading. <laughs> Literally, with this card, for those of you guys that pick the eucalyptus, open your arms to receiving and with round and round and with the stork card. This is an aging. This is certain things when they hit a, a, a point, that's when it manifests. That's when it comes in. That's when the journey continues on. That's when the things change. And you know, it's like, it almost reminds me of a video game that when you hit this point, hit that, do this thing, then boop, you know, the whatever manifests itself. Well, maybe it's like a cheat code when you put this in, these symbols of things that you've learned from your experiences, from the worst things, the most frustrating things, the most annoying things, you've mastered them. And when it happens, when it occurs, you know to put the cheat code in and then it manifests and it's like, you know, abundance, a blessing, or whatever the case is. And that's what the round and round card is. The round and round card is about, you know, the circles of life, the cycles of life, and things happening almost repeating themselves, but they don't really repeat themselves because you have changed, you have evolved. So maybe it could be a mirror image of what has happened, but you are not what was. You have evolved so much. So when it presents itself again, you know how to do things differently. You know what to say, you know what to do in order to receive the Nine of Cups. So it's like, and then also the store card is about things coming in a cycle, things coming and repeating themselves. Um, when we know that we can expect the, the stork to show up around this time in this season and lay its eggs or create a home or whatever. And then when it gets too cold, the stork is out, but it is reliable. It is consistent. It shows up around the same time. So when that thing shows up, the eight of the eight, the number eight is all about cycles as well. Like everything that come goes out comes around in another form that's the cycle that everything gets completed you take the circle and then you twist it and it turns into an infinity sign so all that is connected comes around in another form and it just manifests itself and it's infinite it's a loop and it's almost as if you've understood that you know the energy that you put out there anything that you have released anything that you have let go of any seed that you've planted all of those things come around in a new form. New life comes after death. Death follows life and it just keeps going, it keeps going. So that's something that I'm seeing here is you have really kind of changed and that's a part of the aging process is that over time you have learned, again, the cycles, you have mastered it. That now that you have mastered it, you know what to do when, when such and such happens. So when it manifests itself and when it reveals itself, you then, are all you have to do is open your arms up and receive the blessing. The thing too with eucalyptus is that it's very purifying, it's very cleansing. This is about anything that you have let go of, even the hard work, because I don't know if you guys have realized this, because I have, but sometimes if you're so accustomed to working with the Eight of Pentacles, working really hard, it can be really difficult. You would think it would be easy, it's not but you would think it would be easy for you to stop working. You think it would be easy for you to stop doing the most, for you to stop pushing, you know, and putting in your energy, your work and effort. But sometimes the hardest thing is for, the, for hard workers is to actually allow yourself to receive the Nine of Cups, all that you have put in. And with the eucalyptus, that's actually what's happening. It's like, you're getting like, cleanse your mind, like cleanse your mind, clear your mind, purify your mind. Allow yourself, sorry, allow yourself to, to let go of this cycle in your life of hardship, of struggle, of, you know, working long hours in the office or long hours for yourself. Oh, cleanse yourself from that because now it's manifesting itself in a different form and then open your arms to receive. It says you've been praying for help. You've prayed for help. You've been doing the work. Now be open to accepting the fruits of your labor. And the bouquet is all about gifts. 
it's all about flattery. It's all about recognition, acknowledgement. And there's gonna be a lot of it because the fish is all about abundance. So when the stork card comes through, it says, listen, it is now time for you to receive a lot of flattery, a lot of admiration, a lot of acknowledgement, a lot of recognition, a lot of reward, a lot of gifts. All of those things need to come to you now because you've worked so hard and because the time is now. Round and round is, okay, we've been doing this for a while. We've been, literally, it's like a cycle, a loop. And, but with the card round and round, you're not doing what you've done before, you're doing it differently now because you've learned from your experiences. That's what I always get from the card aging is you've learned from your experiences. Now it says, I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled. That's about, I am open to receiving. I'm opening my arms to receive. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. So those are the things that, is that I'm seeing for those that picked the eucalyptus. I actually feel like the biggest thing that you need to do right now is maybe even to work with eucalyptus um, essential oils, put them in an oil diffuser and allow it to be in your environment or maybe have a little whiff of it, <laughs> uh, you know, on a rag or maybe you keep the essential oil bottle in your bag and when you need cleansing, when you need to kind of reset from, you know, striving and doing and working, it's like take a, like sm smell that really quickly. Like allow yourself to receive that so that you can receive this blessing that's coming into your life. Abundance, abundance. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there are plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in 2020. Bye.